All righty, today we are wrapping up the spring season of our small town live series, hitting the road today to make one final stop. We started in Brownsboro, then we headed northeast to Winsboro, and today we're wrapping up the season in the city of Rusk. Small town live is our opportunity to spotlight what makes each of these communities unique, their traditions, family friendly festivals, and of course their wonderful people. And as we head over to KETK's Isaac Ramirez, he joins us live from Rusk and he seems to be surrounded by nature at the moment. Isaac, what are you up to? Casey, such a wonderful day here at Remarkable Rust. So lush, so green, such a nice day to go for a stroll. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now on the Rusk Footbridge. This is the second longest in the nation, coming in at 546 feet. This was actually built back in the 1800s as a way for people to get to their homes and also to a community east of here called New Birmingham because this right here behind me would flood and it still floods to this day. But now many people come here in the evenings and take a nice little stroll, and that's what I'm doing. And that's what my friend Carlton is doing as well. He's with the Rusk Economic Development Corporation. Carlton, such a beautiful day, isn't it? Yes, it is. That's a beautiful day. And, you know, the reason why I think people come and move to Rusk is, of course, the beauty that you see around you, you know, the rolling hills and the piney woods of East Texas, but also I think it has to do with the people. And what I mean by that is Rusk is steeped in history. In fact, it was one of the pivotal communities in the uh, start of the independence of Texas. And so you have a lot of that, uh, which builds a lot of strong uh, sense of community and which propels everyone wanting to participate in the growth and development of the community. And you definitely see that, and the people are so friendly. I've been hearing from everyone here that this is a good place for people to start a family or to even have a business. Why is that? Well, for families, uh, and I think uh, I'm a little prejudiced, but our school is probably the best school in Cherokee County. Uh, and of course, we uh, support all forms of higher education learning. And we have the Promise program, which allows uh, high school students to go and uh, go to two-year or four-year continuing college. But uh, for those who are in the sports mind, we have a fantastic sports complex with artificial turf uh, that is phenomenal for those who want to participate and compete in sports. Now, for businesses, uh, we have uh, gigabit fiber internet coming to the uh, town square that supports the development and growth of businesses here as well. Mm -hmm. We were actually, before coming here, mm -hmm. at the Heritage Center of Cherokee County Museum. Yes. Lots of history here, Carlton. Yes, and one tidbit of information, the there was um, iron that was mined around here and we had a foundry just uh, a little north of Rusk and they actually created the steel necessary to build the Texas State Capitol in Austin. And so, yes, there's a lot of history here. And in fact, uh, the history also goes to the railroad that was built between here and Palestine, which now services a 50 mile trek pulled by uh, a steam locomotive where someone could ride through the piney woods of East Texas. At the end of the day, why should people consider maybe moving to Rusk? Well, I think, you know, it's all about opportunity and then history. Because I think with opportunity, you could create your own history and that could become part of the individual or families that move here, as well as the legacy of Rusk. Thank you. Truly remarkable. Remarkable Rust. That's what we're going with for today. So again, we were at the Heritage Center of Cherokee County earlier today. We learned about the history. We're talking to Carlton about why Rusk is so great here at the Footbridge and coming up on KETK News at 6. We're going to be eating some barbecue just in time for dinner, right? right. We're going to All Star Barbecue at 6 o'clock as well to have a recap of everything we did today and also tell y'all about the great food here in Rusk as well. So plenty of fun here. Remarkable Rusk. Such a beautiful day, a little humid, but a good day for a stroll, Casey. I'm sending it back to you. Oh, I'm already hungry for that barbecue. Isaac, thank you.